What's up everyone and welcome to finally once again a blue lock project world champion video on my channel this time we're on the global version as you can see this is not my account firstly I want to thank Mikael for making this possible by letting me use his account for my videos and today as you can probably already guess from the layout we will be doing a training guide a deep dive on Nagi Seishiro, the impetus known as Curiosity. So as you can already see from the get-go, his stats are mostly focused on technique and kick. You can see it in his parameters here. He has plus 45% on technical growth rate and plus 21% on kick. So while training Nagi, Make sure to focus on both technical and kick as he's a technical based forward with a direct shot ult. Now keep in mind these training results will most likely be a lot better than your account which is simply due to the fact that a lot of these characters are level 100. I will give you comp that you should use on level 50. And then I'll give you comps that you should use on level 100. Keep in mind, we have Nagi boosting himself as well. So, that is definitely something to consider. In the end, looking at those results. So let's start with the level 50 comp. For technical comps, one thing that's impossible to not use is both Bachira and Rayo as a friend. So to add up a bit on that technical, if you have Mitoma, he's a solid asset, especially for the start. So we want to get him in as well, if you have him. And then the rest we're gonna go a bit on the kick side, as there's no real other technical supports in the game. Not even Nico, although his training bonus is pretty interesting to have as well. For Nagi, we are gonna go with Baro and Kunigami. Looking at their level 50 set, Bachira already has special lecture bonus, even though it will be a lower number than here, obviously. Mitoma adds a nice balance of technical boost, kick boost and practice match bonus that he already has early on as quite the value, so he's a really good support for Nagi. Moving on to Baru, he has special training rate up right away, boosts kick power obviously, as he should. And Kunigami, just like Bachira, goes a bit into the special lecture bonus direction, also having lecture rate up later, which is also quite useful to have, and Reo just rounds everything up as a friend support with his special lecture bonus 70%, which in my opinion is the best ability a friend support can possibly have in this game right now. It's absolutely correct, it's the reason why cards can go to the value that they can go to. So Rayo Friend for technical based characters like Nagi or even for, thanks to scores, for defenders like Raichi or Igaguri is pretty much a must for now. That's for the level 50 comp, if you want to use the most optimal cards You'd probably have to go with the three best cards in the game as of right now, which would be Kunisagi, Anri and Gagamaru, of which Kunisagi is the best. You could argue for either Ego or the Bachira SSR as well. If you don't have those three, especially on a high level, or you can give the Baro SSR a go because on level 50 he still has the training bonus, still boosts kick, even though it's not as great as others. But yeah, that's about it for the level 50 comp. So let's look into the level 100 comp. This is assuming all characters are level 100, or at least on a very high level. As we can see, we got Ryo already. Ryo level 100, I've said it before, he is needed for Nagi because of his insane values. Same goes for Baro, he's obviously the current best kick support in the game, maybe. Kunigami is a little bit better, but Baro on level 100 has lecture rate, special lecture bonus, and special training rate. So not using him when you do have him on level 100 would be quite the sin. 
then we're gonna go more into the technical direction. As much as I don't like match bonus, Mitoma has the double technical boost with 30% here, 20% there, boosting all technique based cards he's a part of by 50% even more. Also having that little kick boost, we will use him, he's level 100. There's no reason not to. Now for the last one, there's two options. You could either go with Kunigami, especially on level 100. He will be really good because he has both lecture rate up and special lecture rate uh, bonus. My bad. But in this case, because this Kunigami is level 65, I'd use him over who we're gonna use at level 100. But Jingo Raichi on level 100 might be one of the most underrated characters. His first set doesn't look too good with physical up, technical up, stamina up. However, we will want to use this technical bonus on Nagi. He gets training bonus later as well, increasing all stats by 15%. And just like Rayo, he has that 70% special lecture bonus that we're gonna make use of now. Now the question is, with this comp as stacked as that, who do we use as a friend support? And now, in my opinion, there's two directions in which we can go right now. Two very simple directions. The first one would be just Rin, expand on the kick sector, get the kick boost in, get the special lecture bonus in that he has, and the training bonus as well. And the other direction would be expanding on technical, with Bachira, who also has special lecture bonus, but also has lecture rate up, training bonus and practice match bonus so overall his set seems better than Rin so for the sake of this comp I will pick Bachira as a friend we're happy to have him here and for the cards Kunisagi, Anri and Gagamaru will be our choices as well if you have them there's no reason to not use them you might argue for my monster or revolution if they are a much higher level than those three SSRs mentioned. But here they aren't, so we have no reason to not use their full potential. And with that, let's also go right into the run and see where we end. This is actually the first time I'm playing on this account, so I have no idea how far the run will go, what's gonna happen. We're obviously gonna train and save blue lock because beginning the striker is just not doing it. We're starting off with the black card special lecture. It's on imagery training. Not quite the preferred one I'd go with. But with 600 stats, there's no way we can not take it. So, yeah. The starting stats, you can see already, they're pretty high, which is just due to the enormous amount of boost from the level 100 characters. Now we got a black kick lecture from Baro. we're gonna take it. Kick and technical are the things we want on Nagi anyways. So as long as there's black dribble or kick lectures available, we'll want to take them. As for dialogues right now, there is no character in the game that gives a golden skill through the red option of a dialogue. So if you don't know what dialogue does what exactly, always pick the blue option to be on the safe side here. That's a technical card with 900 base technical, only 200% but we'll still take it. Lots of good cards spawning already, that's the level 100 difference I guess. Raichi doesn't give his gold skill over a dialogue, that's why it did not matter that we picked red here. So here with this account... There's nothing good to pick, no black cards, which are somewhat of a must if you have a setup as good as this. So I'm gonna break here. Normally you don't get as many black cards, so I guess this would be if those were gold cards with high values, I would still take them. But they're not here, so let's just move on break, get to extreme, luckily. Now the question is, do we pick one of these? I think we're gonna go with the mental imagery training just for stats. The other option would have been a revenue match, but if there's another chance for us to do a match when there's no black card, especially not a lecture around. Actually, yeah, we might use this chance, although we could just go for this card because it has 
about the same stats as the black one actually. I think I might take it. 350%. The reason I took it here was for the card level off because this way we could get dribbling training to level 2, higher card level, just as higher performance level obviously. Raises the chance of hitting high percentages and also raises the chance of getting skills dropped as far as I know. I'm not too sure on this one. Which is also why we're gonna pick the level 2 mental imagery training here once again. Getting a lot of these dropped, but I don't mind. They're good stats, so we'll definitely take them. Even if I'd prefer dribble cards. We might want to sneak in a revenue match or two in a bit though. Now we're taking the black card because it gives us to best. It gets our card level up. I really thought about resting there too, but... As I said, I don't have too much experience back on global with whale accounts. So this is gonna be a bit of a freestyle. And here we have two options now. Either we rest or we do a revenue match. And I think doing a revenue match here is the better option. Because we are on best. So we can allow the revenue match hit the tip goal for the to clear the first stage with 500,000. I forgot to skip. So we're gonna skip manually. Um... And yeah, we're gonna be on best, so there's two options. Either we go down to good, which gives us a good chance to rest, with a little bit of a higher chance on getting awakening, or we just stay at best, which still has solid percentages, mostly. Even though I personally really don't like the best condition, it just feels like a bad mix of extreme and good. Look at this, this is the perfect chance we can just take a break here, getting the bet, so we're back to full extreme, everything. And we're getting the first golden skill from our support card, Gagamaru as well. Is it the first golden skill overall? Did we already get one before that? We did not actually. And just in time for us to go into extreme, we got another black card popping off. No reason to not take it. We're easily above the tip goal, so let's see if we can get something on the last day. Ooh. I think we're gonna take the kick card here because it has a higher stat total. This sums up to about 800 stat total. This sums up to about 700. We're taking the kick card 400%. Let's go. Okay. Can't get much better than that on extreme. And now we are ready for our first match. 33,000 power. Okay. I actually think it could be higher, but we're getting lots of black cards at least, which is very nice. Don't expect your runs on your accounts to go the same way. Even the ones on my account do not go like this. On my account, I'm a free to play player with around 200k team power as this video goes out. But this is a whale account, obviously. What are this account's black cards might be your account's gold cards or gold special lectures. So don't get too worked up. Don't compare yourself to this account. This is just for the sake of demonstration because my account is nowhere near good enough to make proper videos. And this is just the sign of special lecture bonus. And the reason why Raichi is in here, even though stamina and physical are both not preferred stats on Nagi. 784 base stamina, something we cannot say no to. We're taking it. Great amount of stats. Um, yeah. Stamina is still important in game, so the stats decrease less as the match progresses. And that's our first gigantic card. 1456 base intelligence, 300% on there, putting us to US intelligence as well. Awesome. Actually, this is looking quite good now. We just have to watch out for the tips, maybe sneak in a revenue match. Not here though, we're definitely taking this kick card 500% and card level or training level 3 very nice the Kunisagi card gives us a new white skill as well 
And this is the moment where we revenue match. No black card around for this account. Shocker. Perfect time. To get above the tip goal. And just... Yeah. Take an easy dub. And prepare ourselves. On the 2 million tip goal, that will be next. The second checkpoint match should give around 250,000 tips. If I'm not wrong, might be a bit less, might be a bit more. So we should be good to go even without revenue matches, but... See, now normally this ain't that bad for a normal account, but here we're gonna revenue match again because this essentially guarantees us to reach the tip goal of the next stage already just by winning this and then winning the checkpoint match that's gonna follow so yeah 3-1 skill diff 240,000 tips as expected here we are 1.7 million already Nice level 6 skill from Raichi, skill level up coming in even though it doesn't do much. Fun fact on the side, if you don't know how skills account into a player's value, every level from a white skill gives 100 player power, every gold skill gives 1000. Okay. So in terms of power value, one gold skill is equal to a level 10 white skill. And the rainbow skills, which are the ults that every player receives, the character-specific rainbow abilities, give 1,500 in player value. They're scripted though, you can't get those randomly from characters or cards. Speaking of which, we're actually quite unlucky to only have gotten one so far. When there's a whole 8 available for us. Since we're not using Freeze again our team. And this is an example for a bad good card. Like, it's a gold card. Normally we'd want to focus on the black cards, but 500 technical, thanks to Reo Mitoma. So there's no reason for us not to take it. As we're approaching 20k technical. Awesome. And there's the next black card. We're in good condition. But the card level up takes priority here. We're already above the tip bonus. We get sent to best as well. See, this is where we could break because it's not the preferred card type that we want. We'd optimally want shot practice or dribbling training, not mental imagery training. So I'm gonna take a break here despite the black card spawning. We're definitely going to extreme with the bad. Which is very nice. And there's a black dribble card. No lecture, still 500 base technical. Let's definitely take it. And the last turn gives us another gold kick lecture to take. 10,000 kick power passed through. Nice. This run isn't gonna end too high by whale standards, but it's still gonna be good enough to show about what is possible. Just with all the cards we got, imagine each of those were a lecture. We'd be seeing insane values, even though we're already around 70k by the end of Climax Battle 1. There's four more days and three more matches counting into the total player value, so let's see if we can actually get a solid result if we can get to US rank, which would be the goal for these kind of videos with this account. Especially on the level 100s, anything below is just kinda criminal. But yeah, let's see. And here again, bad card on that, but we're already on extreme. So I'm just gonna take the Muscle card. Even though I really don't want it, I don't see a use for revenue matches when there's no more tip goal needed. I prefer to just going all in for stats. 
all in for stats like this card if we get a good percentage on that this will be huge of mm. course we don't 200 still getting around 4000 worth of stats not bad at all we're on 72k I think getting to US rank will not be an issue but yeah, you see those insane amount of stats on the black cards those are created through special lecture bonus increasing all stats of a card after all the other buffs have already applied but it only works with well special lectures hence the name seems logical so yeah that's around the way to build your comps if you somewhat know how to play the game if you don't you can go for match bonus at first this is one hell of a stinker so we're gonna break and hope for a really good card on the last day so we can at least get to 20,000 technical with extreme oh my god that's a shocker we're gonna take the kick card anyways we are on 20,000 technical though so that's not too bad and with that we're already nearing the end of a run we're gonna get to round about 80k 80,000 in player value definitely a solid result but with no awakenings and not that many black lectures with a high percentage I think despite this for a free to play player insane results there's lots of ways upwards to go this could go much higher as well but for now we'll take the result it's still US rank it's still around 80k keep in mind though this special lecture bonus orientated comps are intended to take time you need more runs to do them but on the other hand, once you get that run hitting in, fucking hell windows, can you stop? Once you get that one run hitting in, it's essentially wraps. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you everyone for watching and I hope to see you again at the next training guide. Bye.